Have you ever wondered why you are different from your siblings? The answer lies within the amazing process of meiosis. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a process where a single cell divides twice to produce four cells containing half the original amount of genetic information. These cells are our sex cells, sperm in males, eggs in females. During meiosis, one cell divides twice to form four daughter cells. These four daughter cells only have half the number of chromosomes than the parent cell. They are haploid. Meiosis take place in germ or sex cells called gametes, eggs in females and sperm in males. Similar to mitosis, cells also pass through the interphase, G1, S and G2 phase before they enter meiosis. Here are the distinct phases of meiosis. Interphase, meiosis 1, cytokinesis 1, meiosis 2, cytokinesis 2. First at interphase. In interphase, DNA is copied, resulting in two identical full sets of chromosomes to prepare for division. Outside of the nucleus are two centrosomes, each containing a pair of centrioles. These structures are critical for the process of cell division. In next step at meiosis 1, meiosis 1 takes place in following steps. Prophase 1. Prophase 1 is typically the longest phase of meiosis. During prophase 1, homologous chromosomes pair and exchange DNA. Homologous recombination. The new combinations of DNA created during crossover are a significant source of genetic variation and result in new combinations of alleles, which may be beneficial. The paired and replicated chromosomes are called bivalents, or tetrads, which have two chromosomes and four chromatids, with one chromosome coming from each parent. The process of pairing the homologous chromosomes is called synapsis. At this stage, non-sister chromatids may cross over at points called chiasmata, plural, singular chiasma. Prophase 1 has historically been divided into a series of substages, which are named according to the appearance of chromosomes. Leptotene. In this stage of prophase 1, individual chromosomes, each consisting of two sister chromatids, become individualized to form visible strands within the nucleus. Leptotene is of very short duration and it's when the progressive condensation and coiling of chromosome fibers takes place. Zygotene. Chromosomes approximately line up with each other into homologous chromosome pairs through synaptonymal complex. The paired chromosomes are called bivalent or tetrad chromosomes. Pachytene. This is the stage when homologous recombination, including chromosomal crossover, crossing over, occurs. Non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes may exchange segments over regions of homology. At the sites where exchange happens, chias matter form. Diplotene. The synaptonemal complex degrades and homologous chromosomes separate from one another a little. However, the homologous chromosomes of each bivalent remain tightly bound at chias matter. The regions where crossing over occurred, the chiasmata remain on the chromosomes until they are at the transition to anaphase 1. Diakinesis. It closely resembles prometaphase of mitosis. The nucleoli disappear. The nuclear membrane disintegrates into vesicles and the meiotic spindle begins to form.